I'm Tai Chi and I'm here at Filmcom in Nashville, Tennessee. And I have a really an honor to uh, bring to you one of the uh, uh, executives that we got to listen to and be inspired and encouraged by, uh, Mr. Matthias Mac Gertz. Well, thank you. You're welcome. So tell us, uh, first, if you would tell us what you do. Um, well, um, I, live in, um, I live and work in, in Santa Monica, outside of Los Angeles. I am a uh, producer, and I do a bit of public speaking as well. Uh, I have a history in uh, film production and, uh, and distribution, uh, and formerly I was a VP of acquisitions and uh, uh, development for a, for a small uh, distributor. You know, when you were talking at the panel, uh, yeah. what really uh, engaged me is that you did, you did really from very low budgets to, to quite impressive budget uh, films, mm -hmm. that it really gave me a sense that I can do whatever I want to do, that I don't have to be, uh, you know, afraid or intimidated by mm -hmm. big Hollywood budgets. No, no, I don't think you have to be. Um, I mean, I've been involved with films uh, that we successfully distributed with budgets as low as you know, five thousand dollars. We we don't we didn't admit that we only spent that much, but um, and and we made money at those budgets, and uh, and I've been involved in projects up to about five million. Uh, so th there's a pretty wide range. It's it's not so much a question of the money. It's it's what your production values are and, and what you bring to it. And passion behind it. Well, passion is always helpful. Yes, <laughs> yes, passion and and faith and faith in your project that you can actually. Um, bring it across regardless of the obstacles. So movie songs had, and movies, had tremendous impact in my life sitting in Croatia as a little girl. All right, so when I made a, a, my choice to follow my heart and tell stories through music was when I saw the movie Oliver and the music and the song, who will buy this beautiful morning? My oh my, da 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 da. Uh -huh. And then um, I, uh, you know, recently, um, of course, I, I found great connection with the song that everybody loves. Let it go, let it go, can't mm -hmm. hold it back anymore. <laughs> okay. But I'll tell you, no, your yes. turn. My turn? Well, um, being in Tennessee, um, I think of songs that, that would be endemic to, that would almost be an homage to being here, all right? And, um, um, and one goes like this. Put on my blue suede shoes and I boarded a plane. Touched down in the land of the Delta Blues in the middle of the pouring rain. Touched down in the land of the Delta Blues in the middle of the pouring rain. telling me uh, a little bit that when you lecture you actually give tools to creative people yeah. on the, the the one area that we're really not um, good at <laughs> or yeah. not uh, equipped really yeah. well yes I mean I mean I, I always assume I always, I always assume that if somebody identifies themselves creatively as something that they're excellent at it whether it be an actor or a, or a director a, a, a writer uh, and so on and so forth but, but just being excellent at what you do in the business side of entertainment doesn't guarantee that you're going to be successful. Uh, in order to do that, it takes both it takes knowledge and it takes intelligence, and it takes a certain amount of cleverness. Okay, and um, and what I mean by that is that the, the knowledge is that you have to look inside, and you have to really figure out who and what you are. The intelligence part comes in terms of researching who are the people that you want to be in business with, you know, and finding out as much as you can about them. And then the cleverness part really has to do with um, people skills. It's being able to be entertaining and it's being able to make friends in this business because ultimately people do business with people they like, you know. But if you want to talk about the knowledge part for a second, um, what I mean by that, just to, to give you an idea, is that um, uh, when I meet someone that wants to be an actor and I ask them what they do, they'll say, oh, I'm an actor. Now, as a producer, I'm not looking for actors. 
I'm looking for someone that is a horror actor. I'm looking for someone that's a comedic actor. I'm looking for someone that specializes maybe in character-driven, um, uh, dramatic uh, type of television. In other words, what I think is important is that, is that you need to identify yourself as a specialist. Film and television entertainment is all made by teams of specialists, people that are very, very good at doing one tops two things over and over and over again. And as producers, that's what we look for is teams of specialists. So I think the first thing that a person has to do in order to become successful in a creative field is they have to take a, a figuratively speaking long walk on the beach and figure out what they want to specialize in, what they could spend the next 10 or 20 years of their life doing over and over again and become incredibly good at and not worry about all of the opportunities they might miss and instead focus on what they have skills for and real talent for. And, and that's the first thing, that, that's where you gain knowledge. And the first step is to gain knowledge on, on what you represent to the market as a specialist. Once you do that, you can put the other pieces into, into play. Yeah, that's incredible you teach about that. And thank you so much because oh, that's, I think, you know, that's what drives us in life. You have to take a long walk on the beach. It's a beautiful analogy to thank really you. figure who you are to show up in the world, no matter what you do. No, you know, I, yes, yeah. but, you know, I, I, and I spent years trying to live in this image mm -hmm. or protect this brand that I didn't like. You, once you're there, you're stuck. So you better know what you're going into. So thank you so much for oh, encouraging and teaching that. Oh, it's my pleasure. I, yes. I, I, uh, I, I want to thank you personally for giving me an opportunity to talk to you and your audience about it. Absolutely. Thank okay. you. My pleasure. Matthew and I came back so encouraged and inspired, learned great new tools, um, and met wonderful people. So many thanks to all who put this uh, great event together. And here's a challenge to all of you. Take that long walk on the beach or on the trail through the forest or on city street, or just sit in silence and really find out who you are without fear of missing out on living a life you think you're expected to live. Find your own purpose that you were created for and sh to show up in this beautiful story we're all a part of called life. And the song that um, I forgot the words to, it goes like this. Who will buy this beautiful morning? Such a sky I never did see. Who will tie it up with a ribbon and put it in a box for me? What's interesting and what I love about that song is that Oliver sings it when he wakes up in the morning to a new day, to a new experience that he had never had before. Experience of love and being cared for, mattering in the world. So wake up and thank you for watching and We'll see you next time.